Oh, I hate that. You're such a bitch. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Oh, I hate that. Airstrike standing by. Kill confirmed. Helicopter support standing by. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Corey, your Autobot, and I'm here today never bringing miss, you guys a brand ever, new video. right, faggot? All you gotta do is look in the direction of the person. Oh, bye, bitch. Get the fuck out of my lobby, you little bitch. If you guys haven't gone and dropped a like on my Fortnite video either, please go do so. Because if that hits 45 likes, guys, I will do a live Fortnite gameplay on Wednesday, and it's currently sitting at 43. So, there's that. But, today's video, I'm actually going to talk about how I became a sniper. Now, there's a lot of things involved with this, but I'm just going to tell you guys, you know, my history as a Call of Duty player that sort of led me up to this. I'm not going to tell you, you know, like, the, the the other personal things that really led me into it. But, um, you know, I've played Call of Duty for, you know, quite some time. You know, I've been playing Call of Duty since the original Call of Duty 4, and, you know, I've been watching Pomage and Grizz and all the great snipers, you know, this entire time and you know that sort of helped as well seeing all these great snipers you know seeing what they can do you know I mean it's kind of interesting to see what they can do but it is definitely something that uh that if you're good at it you can definitely roll over kids and you know I mean I've tried playing other Call of Duty games but not sniping, you know, like, I mean, when it came to Ghost and Black, or Ghost and Advanced Warfare, I was a competitive player. Because, you know, the sniping didn't feel quite as good as it did in Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2. Because around the end of Modern Warfare 3, beginning of Black Ops 2 is when I really started sniping a lot. And then, you know, I didn't really consider myself to be a sniper at that point either. And then, you know, I said, I'm going to try my hand at competitive and see how, see how I do with it. And, you know, I didn't really do so hot in Ghost and Advanced Warfare for competitive. I started doing a little bit of competitive on Black Ops 3 when it first came out, and it just, it didn't click there either. I always found myself coming back to Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops 2 to snipe and have fun. You know, and so basically sniping kept drawing me back in because I was having so much fun with it. You know, I didn't really have as much fun with competitive. I mean, I was having fun with it, but not as much as I was with, uh, with sniping. I don't know why, it's just sniping was more fun to me. And, you know, I didn't really classify myself as a sniper either, you know, I was just a casual player at the time, and, you know, maybe a pub stomper as well, but, you know, I was sniping and having fun with it. And then once it came time to, uh, came time for the Mintire Seed shortly after, or shortly before the release of, uh, Infinite Warfare and Model for Remastered, I decided, you know what, I am... I'm gonna do this, you know. I'm gonna go for this RC. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call myself a sniper. I'm actually gonna make something of this, you know. I, I. That's how I became a sniper. Is, you know, I. I finally said, you know what? I said I'm not going back to competitive. I. I said, you know what? I said my my farewell to competitive. Essentially, is what I did. I said my farewell to competitive. You know, I found what I want to do. I found my playstyle. I found you know what I want to consider myself to be in this community. And I picked up the sniper rifle and I haven't looked back. And, you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I mean, really, I am. I mean, nothing satisfies me more than pissing people off. Oh my god, I could have just hit it. Oh my god, that would have been so fucking nice. You know, nothing satisfies me more than making people mad. Because they're shooting at me with a, with a regular weapon. Or like an assault rifle or an SMG or whatever. And I'm here I am with a sniper rifle just popping them off. I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than that. And I... I mean, yeah, you know, it does, it probably does piss a lot of people off, but, you know, it's a play style. I mean, yes, it's, there's, it's one thing to play like a bitch, and it's one thing to use a certain weapon a certain way. Using a certain weapon a certain way doesn't make you a bitch. What makes you a bitch is the fact that you'll sit in a corner with Juggernaut. Like this guy! But, you know, I mean, that's sort of where my, my sniping roots came in, you know? Like, my sniping roots came from Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2. And, you know, somewhat from Modern Warfare 2 as well, because, you know, I sniped in every Call of Duty game, just for shits and giggles, and had fun with it. But, you know, I I decided, you know, with the amount that I played Call of Duty, it's time to start taking something seriously. And that's why I decided to become a sniper, and that's how I became a sniper. I took something that I had the most fun doing, 
when I decided it was time to become serious, I took the one thing that I had the most fun doing, and that's what I decided to go with. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. I will be streaming later on tonight. And, yeah, I mean, I'll be streaming later on tonight on my Twitch, so just go down to the link below in the description and follow my Twitch. That way you guys will be notified when I go live. And that's it for this video, guys. It's been your boy Cory, or Autobot, and I'm out. Peace.